Memorial Day weekend in Indianapolis. It's all about speed. High performance. The race to the finish line. The Indiana Pacers and the Orlando Magic are locked in a full throttle struggle that can't be measured in miles. The Magic relied on diesel power and a near-perfect high-octane attack to take the first two laps. But back on their home track, the Pacers shifted their game into another gear, fueled by emotion and no doubt a touch of desperation. They won lap number three. Today, it's another trip around the circuit. The Pacers can't believe it, or the Magic can build what could be an insurmountable lead. Both teams know the checkered flag is just around the corner. And in this race, the victory lap takes you straight to the NBA Finals. the NBA on NBC. The 1995 NBA Playoffs. Today, it's Game 4 of the Eastern Conference Finals between the Orlando Magic and the Indiana Pacers. Rebounding. Al Davis and Shaquille O'Neal on the opening tip. And it's controlled by the Magic. O'Neal getting position. Banking with Smith going right to the basket. And actually, Rick Smith did a decent enough job of pushing Shaq off the block, but he would not be denied. Smith took a pop down low from Anderson. Now Smith's on the move. Won't count, but a foul call. And it's called on Shaquille O'Neal. Just play him head up to see what happens before they start coming down to double team. Jackson for three. Sadly, although he was not hitting his shot, Dennis Scott for three. On the rebound, Hardaway racing it down. Hardaway pulls up for three, and he has been on fire from downtown. O'Neal around Smiths. Once he got the step, Smiths did not want to pick up the fatter they did here in game three they've hit their first four shots bad pass Hardaway has a three on one Anderson hit by McKee yes and it counts Nick Anderson finishing off the three on one and he will go to the line Reggie Miller out of control here lost his footing a little bit thought he saw somebody open but right into the body of Penny Hardaway and not a good foul here by Derek McKee he was clearly beaten on that lane probably would have been better off just letting Anderson lay it as New York magic with a 13-3 lead with three minutes gone by in this first quarter, and Shaquille O'Neal adds to that lead. It's game. Orlando came from way back to win. Here's McKee. And the tip is good by Neil Davis with a runner. Jackson. Well, Mark Jackson has a counter that uh, they have been able to force here in the early moments. This is their style of basketball. And Shaquille O'Neal dominating, but... A loose ball foul is called. Antonio Davis because of the big men of Orlando trying to help out inside defensively. Miller for three. Reggie Miller with his first bucket. Here comes McKee in the open floor for Jackson. So the Pacers. Well, Indiana has been talking about selective fast breaks being disciplined. This was a fast break opportunity for Reggie Miller pulling up at the three. They will run all they can with Shaquille O'Neal on the bench. And here's another one as Mark Jackson able to get inside. Nick Anderson, all bets are off with Shaq on the bench. 9-0 run for Indiana looking for more. Dale Davis dumped it off. Rick Smith has missed its last eight shots after hitting their first six. Here's Jeff Turner who just checked in and he has had the hot hand. It's something he works very long and hard hours on. Right, here's Scott off the pump. And Orlando able to settle the three-guard set. Just under three minutes to go in this opening quarter. Mitchell on the drive. Sam Mitchell. 
touchdown for Hardaway. Miller penetrated and hitting. That began with a behind the back dribble. They may have gotten away with a, a palm. Here's Scott from deep. Dennis Scott hitting from two point range. 22 19. Kept alive by the Pacers. Scott for three. Rebound Antonio Davis. Wayne Farrell is on the floor for the first time. Has not seen much time in the show. And that is Farrell. For Indiana, looks like the wide open spaces without the big people, Smith and O'Neal, in the game. Nice move by Hardaway's tied at 24. Farrell had the step and lost it. Turner with a good play. Here's Hardaway chased by Antonio Davis and draws the foul. 24, 35 seconds remaining in this first quarter. Mitchell. Sam Mitchell, five seconds. Down to three. Scott for three. He's been off. And time runs out in this first quarter. A first quarter that again has seen Shaquille O'Neal forced to the bench early after picking up two fouls. And Shaquille appeared to be on a roll. So that has really hurt the Magic. Game tied at 26 after one here at Market Square. We'll be back with the second quarter in a moment. Down the floor playing with two fouls. Antonio Davis had it knocked away by Shaquille. Hardaway trying to move on Scott and he is held. The basket will not count. Him possibly not fouling. Byron Scott called on that last foul. Hardaway on a post up, a beautiful move by Penny Hardaway. Bench, you got to try to figure out where they're going to get some offense. Oh, well, Antonio Davis going at Shaquille O'Neal. Trying to get it to Anthony Hardaway. And Hardaway with the steal. It's a four on one. Hardaway for Mitchell. Serving up a faithful. Whoa. The action from the Orlando bench at the expense of Sam Mitchell. And a foul against the Magic. It's on Turner. That is his second. Byron Scott leaving his feet to make that pass. Hardaway saw it coming all the way. He's going to get the steal. Give it to Shaw. Right back to Hardaway. As Shaq running interference down the middle of the floor. As Sam Mitchell getting one throw right down on his head. I think Sam was posterized. <laughs> regular season right behind Orlando in terms of success at all successive rejections by Orlando but kept alive by the Pacers Sam Mitchell and early in the second Smiths and back comes Hunter a crowd looking for a foul and now the foul is called at midcourt Workman actually breaking up the fast break Reggie Miller and Mark Jackson have returned. Here is Shaquille O'Neal. Well, rebound and get a lot of dunks. They'll live with the turnaround jump shot and the jump hook. And there is the turnaround jump shot by Rickle on the transition after that turnover. Well, that's been a problem for them all season long. Nothing going inside for Rick Smith. Shaquille O'Neal has just been stopping him, but Rick Smith has that ability to step out on the perimeter. <laughs> That, uh, <laughs> Dennis really has to get a grip on himself. Two, five minutes gone by in the second quarter. Shaquille O'Neal right back. And the Pacers lead by one. So he had to come out of the ballgame. Smith's getting in deep and rejected. That's the third block for Shaquille. Anthony Bowie who just came on. Rebound O'Neal. The game is tied at 30. He's going to work in the post all the time. Ran over to help, knocked it away. Miller for three. Yes. Jackson pushing it down. Jackson delivers to McKee. Beautiful play by Hardaway. Able to steal it. And here he comes. Hardaway for Anderson. And Hardaway trying to finish it off. But an air ball. With the ball in a three-point lead. Smiths fouled by Grant. O'Neal let him go, did not want to pick.
pick up another foul. It's on. No, they change it. It is Shaquille with his third. Anderson off the lead. Nick Anderson able to hit over Rick Smith. Be comfortable with the three-point shots despite the fact he is 7 for 10 in the series. Oh, oh my goodness. Shaquille, Penny Hardaway. Well, on the previous play, Reggie Miller got caught in front of Nick Anderson. Here he got caught right in between trying to get around. And Penny Hardaway on the quick, quick catch and move. And the Adam maintaining possession. Jackson for three. Ankle injury it has not been the same for Royal. Here's Scott for three. Yes. Dennis Scott. In the second quarter, they double up on Smith. Good job on Smith, but he gets one. In the foul. Well, that's using the seven for four height advantage. Donald Royal got him from behind. Well, just a couple of minutes ago, Brian Hill went even smaller by bringing in Donald Royal for Jeff Turner, who had three fouls. So Larry now Rick taking Smith's the opportunity to get Smith back in there, feeling that he'll be able to guard Donald Royal, who is not real confident. Here's Hardaway. Smith's over for the block. Came over to help Grant. Rebound Davis. Smith's gives it back. Miller. And rebounded by Dale Davis. Grant continues to have his problems offensively. Here's Scott with his foul. Indiana with the last seven points of the half. Well, the crowd here at Market Square Arena loves it. Shaquille O'Neal, six of eight, shooting 12 points, but not able to get as much time as he would have liked with the three fouls. Rick Smith's three of nine for the field, eight points and four assists. Bob of the Prudential halftime report coming up. Draws the double. Smith's with the open jump. Oh, he loves that right baseline. Made so many three-point shots. They cannot rely on that. They have to get back into this game with defense. And then a Scott able to go glass 18 to 3. Indiana came roaring back with a good run. Dale Davis wide open and Rick Smith with assist number five. Holloway got the step. Ran on the steal. Morris Grant took it away from Dale Davis. Jackson accelerates. Miller for three. Double up on Scott. Horace Grant. Yes. So Horace Grant able to hit it. O'Neal got the step. The Magic looking for a goal 10. Foul is called. So I would think that is a concern of Larry Brown. O'Neal on the rebound. And a loose ball foul is called. That's on Shaquille O'Neal. And it is number four. But Shaq can do more for the Pacers, but for the Orlando Magic, by getting to the offensive play. Scott met by McKee, who took it away. And Hardaway recaptures. Out of foot race there, Mark Jackson and Penny Hardaway. The 12th turnover. Orlando has nine. O'Neal getting down deep and hammered by Mitchell. Another Orlando turnover. Smiths. Anderson in the Indiana scheme. Seven point lead for the Pacers. Jackson for three. Mark Jackson. Nobody else for the Magic will come over and rotate to him. They're going to have to they're gonna wait to see if he'll hurt him with that jumper stop. time and time again. Anderson passed on the three again. Red for O'Neal. Good idea. Could not convert. Against five. It is Horace Grant. It appeared that it was called on, on Shaquille, but Horace Grant called for the foul. And it was on Horace Grant who reached in and hacked across the arm of Rick Smith. Shaq is playing with four. One more look at it. Shaq hit him way after Horace Grant committed the initial foul. O'Neal gets the step and not able to hit. That's the 
second drop that he has blown. Ricky Miller extending to a 12-point Indiana lead. And that one, but he's got to be careful as well. Indiana leads by 12. Here's Scott. And a Scott taking it right yes. to the hoop. Mets facing the double team. Here's Byron Scott. Foot on the line. That's a two-pointer. Scott missing his first four shots. Oh, Hardaway. Anthony Hardaway with 15. Smith's got bottled up. Good play by Grant coming over on the double team, leading to this. A fast break. Scott for Anderson. Anderson. Orlando, a very explosive time. Could not put it down. Here comes Hardaway. Hardaway on the penetration, going all the way. Anthony Hardaway. Magic. Three minutes to go. In the third. McKee, who has been quiet. Here's Scott for three. Rebound, Grant. Horace Grant with the fadeaway yes. on McKee. Jackson for Smith. Bob looking for a foul call. Jack Neese makes the call from the outside. It's on Dennis Scott. Well, Penny Hardaway on the cut off the double team as Reggie Miller fails to make the defensive rotation and cover the hoop. And now Penny Hardaway using Shaquille again, who ran the middle of the floor right to the front of the rim and occupied Rick Smith defensively, and that cleared that lane for Penny Hardaway. McKee, Hardaway reaching in for the steal, and Hardaway puts it down. Anthony Hardaway. Go. The group that Indiana has out on the floor right now. Again, tough to find offense, but that'll do it right there. Oh, yeah. Seconds to go. McKee around Grant, rejected by Anderson as time runs down. Nick Anderson with the block to stop that shot by Derek McKee. 14 6 1 by Orlando, ending the third. Hardaway, 8 of 16, 19 points, 2 assists, and 4 steals. So Orlando in the midst of a comeback, down by as many as 12. It's a four-point pacer lead. We'll be back after these messages and a word from your local station. We'll open up this fourth quarter. Straw passing on the shot, getting it to O'Neal. And for Shaquille, his first bucket in some time. Keep him off the block so far in this game as Horace Grant has a steal. Alert play by Grant. Hardaway, and he's tied the game at 75. Shaw in the open floor. Anderson for three. Yes. And the Orlando Magic, after trailing by as many as 12, again showing their poise, struggling with mediocrity through most of their NBA existence. Smiths was blocked. Shaw, Smiths on the block. Three on two. Jackson for Antonio Davis. Another good defensive play by the Magic. Hit only one of their last ten from the field. Smiths for McKee. A playing with a sense of desperation in this fourth quarter. Shaw, who was reluctant to shoot earlier, knocks down the three-pointer. Anderson and Scott, along with Rollins and Grant. Scott with a shot clock running down. Wild pass thrown by Hardaway. Picked up by Jackson. Here's Miller. And hit down from behind. That'll be a two-shot foul. Tonight. O'Neal. And the foul is called as Shaquille O'Neal and Rick Smiths. Got entangled. Foul on Cedric with a three-point lead. Smiths with a beautiful shot. Previous fourth quarter. Hardaway rejected. Hardaway for three. Fielded by Grant. Horace Grant with a big bucket. O'Neal out to set the pick. Hardaway with the step. Hardaway off the reverse. That was all Penny Hardaway. Miller with six on the 24. Goes to the drive. Stuff 
but he was fouled. That's his third missed dunk. Bennett and a half left in regulation. Shaquille O'Neal picks up number six. Picks it up to go now against Dale Davis. remaining in the fourth quarter. Well, this two-man game set up with Jeff Turner and Penny Hardaway. I think the Magic anticipated Mark Jackson guarding Turner. He wasn't. Mark Jackson was guarding Brian Shaw. He stepped in to help the penetration by Penny, and that set up Brian Shaw for the good look at the basket. The Pacers have had success going inside to Rick Smith. The last time they did it, the Magic left Tree Rollins alone with him. Indiana has one timeout left. They had some trouble getting it in. Now, 10 seconds. Jackson. Miller taking the shot. And hitting a three for Reggie Miller. To give Indiana a two-point lead with five and two-tenths seconds to go. In the fourth and the magic calling for time. Reggie Miller and Brian Shaw dueling three-pointers. And a screen there by Dale Davis was the one that freed up Reggie Miller. That looked like the play that Indiana wanted. <laughs> Five and two tenths seconds to go. Indiana by two. We'll be right back. Off Scott. Hardaway. Down to three. Here is the three. Yes! With one and three tenths seconds to go. Anthony Hardaway hits the three. Ball to Penny and see what he could create. Good defense, actually, by Haywood Workwood to force Hardaway to his left. And under pressure, Hardaway just put a little extra oomph in getting off the floor to make sure he could get a good look and a follow through on this shot. He pounds both feet into the floor to get up and over. Haywood Workwood very close to the three-point line, but just far enough behind for Orlando. All right, McKee will throw in. Got to be a catch and shoot. Here it is. Smith with the catch and the shot. The Pacers have won it at the
Marv Albert, Matt Gukas, and Ahmad Rashad saying so long from Indianapolis. This has been the NBA on NBC.